we came to the conclusion, you know, that sooner or later we'll, we'll be in the war. We'll be, you know, we'll be soldiers fighting, fighting the war. My name is Anthony H. Grant. I'm Major U.S. Army, retired. I was born in New York, New York, New York City. I was drafted into the Army from New York City on April 22nd, 1942. That was less than six months after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. My first assignment was as a company clerk. The quartermaster was the principal supplier of all supplies and equipment for the troops. Now, the first year of the war in Europe, the Germans had almost occupied France and, and, low, and the low countries, low country meaning Belgium and Holland, and, uh, and, uh, and the Germans were in direct uh, attack on the British. Oh, the most memorable thing to me about the war, the scene in Normandy, Normandy Beach. But my most memorable thing on that beach is the complete and total destruction. I would say for an area of about three miles, an area, an area of about three miles, they would destroy tanks. They would destroy, you see, helmets all over the place, destroyed trucks, destroyed armored vehicles, the, uh, sunken ships, and general debris and complete material destruction throughout that whole three mile area. So that, that was the most uh, impression in my mind about, about the whole war, about the whole war effort, yes. The French people, as we, as we rested, you know, in the center of the town, they were so happy and pleased to see the soldiers, they would bring us wine, wine bottles. They'd bring us wine and pour wine so we'd pull out our canteen and they would pour wine into our canteen. And of course, uh, we could only consume just a small amount because, you know, as you know, <laughs> we had our mission. We were just there resting for a few hours. Then we have to proceed. I came to Korea about one year before the war ended in Korea. I would say from about the middle of 1952, the North Korean defense, they, they were, they were uh, uh, retreating, retreating more then. Of course, that didn't mean that normal fighting wasn't still going on. All the uh, uh, hills around Daegu, this area was a very heavy fighting area. All the hills around here, they were all, all, all occupied by combat troops. I was principally in support of the units, you know, but I knew of all the uh, organizations around. As I said, there were what you call the United Nations troops. The foreign troops were mostly combat troops, combat and artillery, all the foreign troops. And then uh, it was the mission of the U.S. Army to support them with all the supplies and equipment that they needed. So you can see that was quite, quite a job. I took great pride in our accomplishment in that, although my unit, we were not combat unit, we are combat support, combat support. And we provided the trucks that carried troops like from one area to another. We provided the trucks to carry their cargo, their equipment, their heavy tanks, and other material that they need to use in combat. I believe my 20 years in the Army was very helpful. In life, whether you're in the military or uh, uh, in civilian life, there will be change. In, in my 99 years of life, I've encountered many, many, many changes. And then when the change occur, as I said before, you determine what it is, you evaluate the change, and you accept the change, and you do the best that you can I'd highly recommend the military. I'm most grateful for my time in the service. Mm -hmm.